today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. What is the mind, biblically speaking? What is the mind? There are a great many words in both Hebrew and Greek that are translated mind. And in the Old Testament, the word that is often translated mind is the word for heart. Sometimes the word heart refers to the actual physical organ, but many times it refers to the inner being. And the seat of the will and also the emotions. In the New Testament, the word kardia, the Greek word for heart, can also refer to the physical organ, but it's often translated as mind. Today we often say the mind and heart against each other and uh, even though he knew in his mind that it was a bad idea he had to follow his heart think about that quote likewise sometimes you speak of head knowledge versus heart knowledge these are simply modern uh, conventions that differentiate intellect from emotions In ancient times, the distinction seems to have been less emphasized. And in the New Testament, the Greek word phroneo is often translated as mind and most often refers to a person's understanding, views, or opinion. As in, but when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter, get get, get, get thee behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Think about that verse in Mark 8 verse 33. Here Jesus is talking about the mind. Hmm. Another example. Think about um, the book of Acts 28 verse 22. The Bible says, Um... But we want to hear what your views are, for we know that people everywhere are talking about this sect. We want to hear your views. So when we look at the word, your views, the translation of the that word in question is the same actual word that we're talking about here. You seeing the point? So there are several other words that often translate as mind. Perhaps the most important theological purposes is the one found in Matthew 22, verse 37. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your what? Your mind. The word, the word uh, dia, dianoia is a compound word that combines dia, which mean or which can be translated through and the word knows which is another word for mind this word is used many times in the new testament and it would seem that we would have to know what the mind is so that we can love god with all of it we should not attempt to import modern notions of mind brain and intellect into the asian text and the people in, in the Old and the New Testament, times and times again, they always seem to have a much more integrated view of humanity. There was much less emphasis on the distinction between the material and immaterial. And when Jesus says, let's love the Lord with all our hearts, our soul and mind, he's not highlighting various aspects of personality. He's not differentiating between emotion and intellect. Rather, he's saying that our love for God should be all-inclusive. The mind is simply one more way to identify the inner being. 
all that we are. In fact, when we look at Matthew 22 verse 37, Jesus used the, uses the word cardia, which means heart, which in other contexts is translated as mind. So we understand that the international standard uh, Bible encyclopedia states that we look in vain in the Old Testament and the New Testament for anything like scientific precision in the employment of terms which are meant to indicate mental operations. Biblically, the mind is simply the inner being or the sum total of all our mental, emotion, and spiritual faculties without drawing fine distinctions between them. All right, that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. You can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And uh, please don't forget to favorite or subscribe to our channel to always be notified whenever we post a new podcast. And if you'd like to support this ministry, please use the details in the description below. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon in the next one.